Bit. So those were actually wet. You, they, yes, these ones I did use a little bit of distilled water on. Just mm -hmm. well, it's not going to hurt anything. It's just easier. Is it better to collect with water? Uh, I mean, that's typically what we do is collect with water. Uh, it probably does help the DNA um, remove the DNA from the substrate, but it doesn't mean that you can't get anything with, mm -hmm. without water. Mm -hmm. But I mean, obviously, we didn't want to damage the, the right. documents. Um, so that's why we didn't use water on those ones. Okay. So here we go. We've got the holster, the gun, the letters, yep. all sorts of things. Yeah, all sorts. <laughs> Anything else you would want to share about, you know, possibility? This is Butch Cassidy. Well, I mean, why I was thinking the interior of the holster, again, potentially an area that not as many people have had contact with. And one of the things that we know about DNA today is that not only is there a direct transfer, there's also secondary transfer. <clears throat> so let's say... Rubbed off. Yeah. Let's say his DNA, uh, Butch Cassidy's DNA was on the gun from him handling it, and he put it into the holster. Just from contacting the interior of the holster, the DNA on the gun could have transferred to the inside of the holster. So um, again, just trying to find maybe an area that hasn't been contacted as much uh, now since other people have potentially handled the gun, then we might have their DNA in there as well. Um, but there's, there's really no way to tell until we do the testing. Okay.